All right, so balloon, here's the valve, here's the nipple part of the valve. I'm going to put this uh, balloon end over here. Hopefully it'll be tight enough. If not, I'll get like a zip tie. Yeah, that's pretty snug. So yeah, we're just going to blow the balloon up from this end here. And we're just going to remove the beauty cover. PCB valve is right there. Move the clamp. And just pull the hose off of the nipple like that. There it is right there. So we need to grab our wrench or socket. And we are looking at 22 millimeter socket. May have to spray some. There we go. All right, so I don't know if this is a Toyota PCB valve. I can't remember. I did replace this, but I don't remember if, if I bought this from the dealership, if I bought this online. Um, now, I called the dealership because I do want to replace this with a uh, OEM or the Toyota PCV valve, or I'm interested in doing that. But I've had some trouble. Oh man, it don't look too good. I'm going to give it a shake test. Okay, so, yeah. All right, so yeah, it needs to be replaced or cleaned. I can't clean this, uh, but uh, yes, I, uh, I wanted to get the I wanted to get the uh, Toyota, uh, and I don't think this is the Toyota one actually, because there's supposed to be a number on it. Uh, let me tell you kind of what happened. I called our dealership and told them that I wanted the uh, PCV valve on this car. Uh, they needed the VIN to look it up, the VIN number, and, but there's two of them. And so they can't, and they said they look different uh, in the picture that they're looking at. And so I needed to go and find the old one, take the old one off, or see if I can find a number on the old one, they'll be able to identify it between those two. Yeah, I also wanted to say, and this may have something to do with it, it's, it's where the origin of the car, where the car was built at, uh, this is a Canadian built car, uh, and you can find your van right up over there, windshield, uh, driver's side. Um, the first number or letter, if it's a J, then it's going to be made in Japan. Uh, two, it's going to be made in Canada. Three, it's going to be made in Mexico. One, four, or five means it's built in the United States. So that may have something to do with it uh, as far as the two different PCV valves. Now they told me look for a number. And I think I did see a number here. There it is right there. I don't know if there's a number before that two, but I'm looking at 22041. But let's check this and see if it's good. I want to show you another one that I have bought uh, aftermarket and uh, let you see the comparison. So before showing you the aftermarket PCV valve that I bought, let me kind of explain what's going on. And we're going to do a test real quick uh, before I show you that uh, other valve. Um, so when we have this connected up here, gases, blue by gases from the combustion um, are escaping through this valve so this has to be open on this end and uh, be able to have those gases come through um, so you could simply just blow through here and kind of check it that way however the critical thing is you don't want it to be uh, coming back like if, if it doesn't shut itself off on this end then those gases are just going to come back into the intake or into the engine here the crankcase um, so the way it's supposed to work is when it's in here, it's connected to this hose right here. So those blow-by gases, uh, unwanted gases, are going to go through the valve to the hose. And then it's going to come back to the intake over here and be recycled and go through the combustion 
um, cycle again on the engine and eventually go through the exhaust cleaner um, now if that now if this valve is not allowing the gases to go through if it's clogged in uh, here then it's just going to allow those gases to stay in here build up pressure and eventually we're going to have uh, leaking on the the uh, valve cover gaskets um, leaking on the cam seals leaking at the uh, crankshaft seal on here all that pressure will push those seals out if it can't escape and go back through and be recycled uh, yeah it'll push those out and you'll have oil leaks um, and that's something I want to avoid uh, so uh, let's go ahead and do a balloon test so we've We've got a shake test, rattle test, somewhat working. I can blow through, but I can't tell really if this is leaking here and going back. So let's get our balloon. All right, so balloon, here's the valve, here's the nipple part of the valve. I'm going to put this uh, balloon end over here. Hopefully it'll be tight enough. If not, I'll get like a zip tie. Yeah, that's pretty snug. So yeah, we're just going to blow the balloon up from this end here. Okay, holding it off right now. Uh, here's what we're going to check. We want to make sure that it's not leaking. We want to make sure that the valve is shut off so that this so-called blow-by gases is not going to be going back through the valve. All right, so let's check it out. So this valve's working. This valve is still good. Yeah, very good. So we can take it off. So a little cleaning would uh, be all we need. Now I did go ahead and order the Toyota one. So I'll pick that up in a couple of days. Like I said, it was like about 10 bucks, 11 or 12, I think it was 11 bucks something with taxes, so not too bad. Uh, in the meantime, I'll clean this and let me show you the other valve that I did order. And it was around 10 bucks as well. I ordered it from uh, Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with this mass airflow sensor cleaner. Uh, just spraying it in the end here. There's a lot of videos on how to do this stuff, so See how I just kind of let it go through Oh, yeah, it's rattling much better Just just from that uh, But uh, yeah, I'm only going to keep it in in here for For a few days, so I really wouldn't even have to do this Let's Look at that some of that stuff that came out Um, or you know what this valve may last a long long time, but like I said, I've already given my credit card number, so uh, Let's sh let me show you the the valve that I the other valve that I ordered that will probably or would probably be okay to use a While back I ordered this standard uh, Motor company I think it is yeah standard motor products that's the number right there for this PCB valve for this toy uh, for this Corolla 2007. Okay, a little bit different here. All right, this one has 2415 on it. Twenty-two millimeter nipple. Uh, to me, it looks like this is a little bit bigger, but it's probably just an optical illusion. Uh, let's see if we the orifice here. So um, not a not a whole lot of difference there, really. Uh, this one, I'm sure this one would be just fine as well. Anyway. Just for the heck of it, let's see if the threads are going to be the same on this standard. No 
Okay, so it is threading in. Let's see about the hose. Yeah, so I'm sure that this one would be just as good, or well, I don't know about just as good, but uh, definitely would would work, and it should work because uh, uh, it is supposed to be for this vehicle. So uh, there's the standard. So what I'll do at this point is um, I will put this one, or probably the old one since we've cleaned it. Yeah, I'll put the old one back until I can get over to the dealership uh, come Monday or Tuesday. And we will uh, put the new one in. Anyway, it's very simple to uh, replace. Get our 22 millimeter socket on that and tighten that. I'll let you go. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, hope it's been helpful. Till next time, have a nice day out there. Take care.